welcome to an exciting video. Today I'm going to be racing the Exeter 10k. So I'm just in my warm up now. Aims for today is 42.30, which would be fantastic, but I don't know if that's going to happen. The legs are feeling really good to be fair. Kind of excited to see how this pans out. Drill strides and then on with the race. Okay, I've just run along the first kilometre or so of the course and it looks absolutely beautiful. It's such a lovely day, maybe a bit warm. It's about 20 degrees, which is quite warm, but um, I don't know, I don't think I mind that. We've had such rainy weather recently. I'm kind of glad of it. Ready to get this done. We've got some really, really fast people today, so there might be a little bit of lapping, so just be mindful. Three, two, the new target. Come on. Okay, needless to say, not the race I wanted. Stomach gave up halfway through basically. Paces are a bit weird. I'll have to look at that when I get back. A bit all over the place. But yeah, main thing is just stomach cramps. Um, and then it actually eased up around 9k, um, basically did a big fart. I know that's a bit too much, a bit TMI, but that's what happened. Uh, I felt okay and then so aimed for sub 45, which I got just about. So yeah, can't be too displeased with that. Just a bit annoyed it wasn't what I'd really hoped for basically, but not too bad. almost a week on from the race uh, so I've had plenty of time to digest it and uh, think about how it all went uh, and so I'm here to debrief as it were um, and give you a rundown of how the race went and how I feel about it basically. Long story short it was not the result I was after. I wanted to hit 42 minutes 30 I didn't, that's what I've been training to, and it just didn't happen on the day. Um, so I'm gonna take you through it kind of kilometer by kilometer, um, and we'll see what happens. So first of all, warm up went really well. I was feeling so good on the warm up. Race starts, first kilometer, 4.08. Obviously 42 minutes 30 is 4.15 per kilometer. That is quite a bit under, and I was really trying to hold back. 4.08, first kilometer, but I thought, feels good, let's just, slow down a bit and settle into a pace. Second kilometre was then 4.14 and I was thinking, good, that is pretty much exactly on pace. I'll just keep this kind of feeling for the next kilometre. There were a couple of people around me, so I thought I'll follow these people. And then I looked down at my watch on the third kilometre and it said 4.24. 4.24, like that is ridiculously off pace and I felt like I was putting in the same amount of effort. And that obviously got me slightly panicked. It says my heart rate here is already up to 189 BPM. It was, it was hot, but I'm slightly doubtful of that because 3K and I was feeling, I was still feeling pretty good aerobically. I was, I was feeling good in general, actually. So panicked a bit, got it down again, fourth K, 416 and that's when we got on to the gravel section so the route was one kilometer out and then two loops and then one kilometer back and half the loop was alongside a canal it was paved it was really lovely and then the other half was gravel but it was quite big kind of chunks of rock so my ankle would kind of go over a little bit you had to be careful picking your um, route and i was following this um fantastic woman who ended up finishing with a new pv i think um and i was following her uh, for a lot of that gravel section because there was also a headwind so I was getting a bit of wind benefit but to be honest she was quite a bit shorter than me. So then kilometre five and the same thing happens again 423 per kilometre and I was starting to find it tough for sure but I was 
fe I wasn't feeling like I was drifting off the pace. Like I felt like my effort was the same kind of level. And it says my heart rate is 193. My heart rate definitely got high, but I don't know if it got that high. That is like ridiculously high. I don't think I could have sustained that heart. I don't know about heart rate. Obviously it was just off the watch. So sixth kilometer, 420. And I'd kind of just resigned myself slightly that I need to just think about this new pace, trying to keep in the low 420s. And um, maybe my target time is a bit too fast, but let's just try and get a solid time. And I knew that I'd have the gravel section with the winds to do again. So I thought, let's just stay at this kind of pace and hope for the best. Seventh K, 426. I was starting to kind of struggle here, starting to have to push on a bit. I was starting to feel it a bit, put it that way. Um, then came kilometre eight, so we go back onto the gravel with this, and that was when my stomach just gave up. Um, and I had started having quite bad stomach cramps. I was trying to keep running. I kind of, I slowed down a bit um, to try and like still run through it, so that's better than walking. Um, so I did that K in 440, which was considerably slower, but I just thought if I can keep running, it'll be fine. I could not keep running. Yeah, I couldn't keep running with those stomach cramps. Felt a little bit like I was gonna f myself. Didn't want that. So kept going and then there was a water station. Oh, I didn't tell you that. First time through the water station, uh, I drank, tried to drink, got a bit down, tried to drink another bit and just threw it down my throat, choked on it, um, spilled it all over myself. It was really not a pretty sight. So water drinking may be a thing to work on. So then the ninth kilometer, there was 5.14, because I did a bit of walking at the water station. It was just annoying. It just felt, it, it felt really bad. Legs were kind of, they were hurting, but not more than they kind of should do, should have done at this point. And then, as I said in this clip, did a big fart. Uh, I, I want to be honest about this, because it's a thing that happens to all runners and in many different sports and everything. Wasn't feeling great in the summer. Basically, just did a big fart and I felt, pretty good still not totally settled by any means but that means i could keep running for the last kilometer um, and i looked down at my watch just before the last kilometer and it said like 40 30 or something i was like okay we're getting sub 45 if it kills me and so i started running again and the last kilometer was 436 which i'm very happy about the last nine seconds apparently was 259 per kilometer so i clearly had a bit of a sprint in me because i wasn't feeling dreadful like I was feeling bad but not worse than I was expecting it was just the stomach so there you go 44 48 was my um official time two and a half minutes off what I wanted to get but you know that's what happened on the night it was really hot to be fair it was 21 degrees the UK has not been having a very good summer so far with a lot of rain and quite cold which I guess is better than soaring temperatures and climate crisis but I still kind of enjoyed the race I think I pushed myself pretty hard with not walking as soon as I wanted to um, so I'm happy with that I'd like to do another 10k race because I think I definitely have 4230 in me going forwards some things that I'm going to do in the next kind of block of training is work on core because I think that'll help so I'm going to try and strengthen my core a bit and just do more strength work in general so trying to strengthen the legs um, and just, yeah, I'm enjoying running at the moment. Keep enjoying it. I'll try another 10K at some point. I'm not in an absolute rush. I will get that 42.30 at some point. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. The next videos that you will be seeing on this channel will be the start of my run up to the Great North Run. Um, and I won't talk about that too much now because I have kind of my plans for it, as it were, that I'll share with you in a later video. But uh, look out for that. Subscribe if you want to don't if you don't. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.